Utility and park buildings throughout the city are now using less energy following the completion of several small but important upgrades. Some of the changes made this year were as simple as swapping out light bulbs to LEDs, but the long-term energy savings are substantial. Edina TV shows us what has changed and how homeowners can benefit by making similar improvements. Under the parking ramp, behind Jerry's Foods, an important city service is always in motion. Water comes in, gets filtrated out for drinking water. Keeping a facility like water treatment plant number six running takes energy. We kind of retrofit it out with new fixtures in this location. But after several energy saving upgrades, like these LED lights, it's using less. Facility supervisor John Darso says they also cut down on maintenance costs. Well, moving to LED lighting allows for our service techs and our electricians not having to do replacements on bulbs and fixtures as often. The full list of upgrades at this one facility is long. Occupancy sensors, everything will shut down. Um, gas to electric water heaters. A couple new fixtures in here. Weather stripping around doors were inspected and replaced if necessary. A total of 27 utility and park buildings received similar upgrades this year, resulting in estimated energy savings of 15%. This important step toward reducing the city's overall carbon footprint started with learning where energy savings could be found without rebuilding older facilities. So for a lot of existing buildings, um, total retrofits to go from, you know, let's say you use um, 100 kilowatts of energy now and you want to use 50, it can be very cost prohibitive to get down to that 50 without starting from scratch. So um, the city looked at opportunities to help us meet our goals of 15%. The warming house at Creek Valley School Park is one of those older buildings with a lot of potential for cutting down on energy use. It's mainly used for a warming house in the wintertime. The lights are left on, they will shut off. One of three high efficiency furnaces was installed here, along with a smart thermostat. Just like the city, homeowners can save money on their energy bill by making similar improvements. Doing the simple stuff, switching out lights, doing that weather stripping, um, starting with that energy efficiency piece. So I would say that um, that's an important piece for people at home to keep in mind, you know, as they look around their own homes, offices, anywhere that they spend time. For the city, this project was a $275,000 investment that is already being paid back through energy cost savings. This was a no-brainer, let's do it, foundational project that we were really excited to see complete. I'm Dan Carpenter for Adina TV. To learn how you can make your home more energy efficient, visit the Center for Energy and Environment website at mncee.org. More energy improvements are planned for the city this year, including at City Hall. It's part of an effort to make the building carbon neutral by 2040.